Thanks for watching and today we want to do something very powerful. Namely, given a span or given a subspace, we would like to do two things at once. Not only find a basis for this subspace, but also find a dimension of this subspace. And the cool thing is, if you know what a column space is, this is actually nothing new. But again, I think this really illustrates how powerful linear algebra is. Using this technique, we can already say, quote by quote, which vector is redundant, just with this power of row reduction. Okay, now, we know how to find a basis for the column space, and I will explain how to do this, but because we're really good at that, well, let's rewrite this as a column space. So really, this is equivalent to finding a basis and a dimension of column space of A, where A is just the matrix where you put everything together. A is 1 minus 4 minus 3, minus 3, 6, 7, and minus 4, minus 2, 6. Why is that? That's precisely by definition of the column space. The column space is just the span of the columns of A. Here the columns are 1 minus 4 minus 3, minus 3, 6, 7, minus 4 minus 2, 6. And if you take the span of this, you precisely get the span of those three vectors. Okay, how can you find a basis for the column space? As usual, you just row reduce. So, it's a nice thing about linear algebra. If you don't know how to solve a problem, just row reduce, and it should give you the answer. So then, let's add four times the first row to the second row, and three times the first row to the third row. Then you get 1 minus 3 minus 4, and then 0, let's see, minus 6 and minus 18. And here you get 0, and then minus 9 plus 7, minus 2, and minus 12 plus 6, so minus 6. Before we continue, let's just simplify this a bit. Notice we can, the, the second row is divisible by minus 6, and the third row is divisible by minus 2. So we get 1 minus 3 minus 4, 0, 1, 3, 0, 1, 3. How nice, you can su no, um, subtract the second row from the third. And we get, in the end, 1 minus 3 minus 4, 0, 1, 4, sorry, 0, 1, 3, and 0, 0, 0. All right, and the question is, so maybe let me rewrite this. We had our matrix, or well, I'll show it to you. Um, if you know linear algebra, which I hope by now you're better at it, um, to find a dimension of this space, it's the dimension of this column space, which is the rank, and which is the same as the number of pivots. So if you want a fast way of finding the dimension, you just count the pivots and you have two. But I don't think it's very intuitive, so let's go back to first of all finding the basis for the column space. And remember what you do. You figure out the uh, columns where the pivots are, which are the first and the second column. And very important, you have to go back to the first and second columns of A. So really, a basis for your column space are those two vectors. So basis, here's the cool thing. Not only a basis for the column space, but also a basis for your original space, because this is the same as the column space. In other words, to find a basis of your original space, you do, uh, you just pick the first two vectors here. So basis is simply, well, 1 minus 4 minus 3, and minus 3, 6, 7. 
That's a basis. And then, how do you find a dimension? Very easy. You just count the number of vectors in the basis. Because that is literally the definition of dimension. The number of vectors in any basis for your subspace. So dimension is then two. Now, what is this saying? It says something very cool. It says, not only that this vector is completely redundant, so it turns out you can write this vector as a linear combo of the other ones, but also, this thing that looks three-dimensional is actually two-dimensional. So if you want to draw it, what it really is, it's a plane in R3 spanned by the first two vectors, where the third one is just a vector that's redundant. It's inside the plane. So as I said, I think this is a very powerful technique, just this row reduction and figuring out where the pivot is because it allows us to find more abstract questions, like finding the basis or dimension of a subspace. All right, I hope you like this little basis excursion. If you wanna see more math, please click like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.